Here's the state machine design pattern in 60 seconds. So this is one of the most useful patterns. Anytime I want to do some kind of AI, some kind of behavior tree, I always use a simple state machine just like this one. And of course, let me say there are a billion ways to make state machines. You can make really complex ones or really simple ones. And this is basically the most simple one. But despite being very simple, it is very powerful. I've used the same type of state machine in many of my Steam games. So the first thing you do is you define an enum for the state. An enum means you can define multiple separated values. So in this case, for example, we've got an idle state, a moving state, and an attacking state. Then we make a field of that type of type state. And then on update, over here we do a simple switch on the update, and then we basically just got the various cases, and depending on what state we are, we are going to do different logic. So idle logic, moving logic, attacking logic, whatever. So for example, over here on moving logic, you would move some kind of transform towards a target, let's say some kind of enemy. And as soon as the player is within a certain distance of that enemy, you would modify over here the state variable to go into the state.attacking, and then you'd run the attacking logic. This would maybe deal damage to the enemy and check if the enemy is dead. If the enemy is dead, you would modify the state again, this time go back into the idle state, you would go back into the idle state, look for enemies, and so on. So that's a super rough, very simple, but very capable high-level state machine. And if you want to learn more, check out my free 12-hour C-Sharp course.